So I'm at Hillview Park and I'm gonna do a five easy trick video. I've never done one of these videos at this park so we should be able to get some new stuff and some creative stuff. I'll skate around the park really quick and show you guys what we're working with. So when I first got to this park, this seems like the most interesting area to me because I've never really seen anything like this in the middle of a pyramid. So the first thing I thought I wanted to do was just roll into it and then kind of grab the board indie and pull it. So you have to pull a lot harder than you would think and you have to really throw your body way into the ramp. And then you're kind of launching yourself right off the tip of the nose and then jumping. Boy. A beginner step to doing this would just be hitting the middle of the board right there and then lifting up those back wheels and going in. What is that? Let me know in the comment section below. So to me, the next most interesting thing at this park is right here, because you've got a bank ramp, and then you've got a lower bank ramp, uh, just slightly more mellow here. So I thought you could do just like an ollie to fakie, but kind of treat this like a hip so that you're going at it almost like a back 180, so you can get the momentum to go like that. So yeah, I'm just kind of turning into it, and then doing not quite a 180 or a 90, but a 45, we'll say. It's also kind of interesting here at the top because you've got an area where you can almost get into like a nose slide, something like that. So this could be really useful for stalls. You just kind of turn into it and just stick your nose up on it. You can almost just like roll into it if you go a little lower. So after that, we've got this little tombstone, little ledge on top of a bank ramp. And I always like skating these. I go to a lot of parks that have this kind of thing. So this, I know how to skate. Um, the easiest thing is just to do a nose stall and then drop back in switch. But you can do tail stalls, spits, all kind of stuff on this. So this is one of the worst quarter pipes I've ever seen. It's kind of like a Jersey barrier. It's only like three and a half feet tall, but it's got some vert to it and it's got a lot of humps. So you really don't want to skate this unless you're planning on just destroying your knees. Everything I do on this, even dropping in, really hurts my knees. But I feel like a rock and roll that goes all the way up is actually the easiest thing because when you come out of it you're almost all the way down you slide a little bit so this is the saddest part of the entire skate park because this is a perfect pyramid and it would be really fun to ollie over 180 all kinds of stuff i like how mellow it is and how tiny the top of this is the only problem with this is you go right into a fence if you're going fast enough to ollie this i mean any way you go you're gonna hit a fence. I have another video where I messed around on this rail, these hubbas. I wish the hubbas were really short, but uh, I'll play a clip from that video.
We've got some DIY stuff going on over here. Another cool thing we have going on at this park uh, is you can do a manual across the deck where the quarter pipe is, and then you've got two different ledges here to drop down. So you could drop down into a manual. You've got something similar to that over there too. The stairs are, you know, that first one's probably six feet at least. So you could do some little manuals down those. Yeah, I mean, I think that is six feet. And that one's maybe four. Honestly, sometimes I hate skating. I hate kickflips, I hate crooks, I hate 50-50s, and I just want to do something weird. And this was one of those days. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm at a different skate park now, making a different video. So stay tuned for this video, and I've got a lot more videos to come. So hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.